We have to see whether or not the flags are against Stafford or Cal. The Bears may have made some illegal laterals. It could be that it won't count. The Bears, believe it or not, took it all the way into the end zone. I'm Robert Stinnett, and I was a staff photographer from the uh, for the Oakland Tribune from 1950 to 1986. I was assigned there specifically to get a picture of the uh, awarding of the axe uh, because the prior year the Tribune photographer assigned there, I've forgotten his name, uh, didn't get the picture. Of course, you know, I had the, uh, my Nikon with the 24 millimeter lens and it was all ready to go because if I had a telephoto lens, which you'd be using to cover football, you couldn't have gotten this picture at all. And nobody else did, because I was the only one there with a wide angle lens. And so, uh, as, as Kevin Mullen started moving through the band, I, something caught my eye that didn't look right. And so I put the camera up and started shooting and got the, the, the whole thing. It, it only lasted about, uh, two to five seconds for, for him to come through there and knock over Gary Terrell, the, the trombone player. I think as a news photographer, you're trained, to, if you see something, uh, you just reflexes uh, starts you shooting the picture. And something caused me to raise it up, uh, up to my eye level and I started taking pictures uh, several seconds before he came over the line and it, and it shows him plowing through the Stanford band being pursued by the Stanford uh, people who wanted to tackle him. I think uh, I'm most remembered probably for this, uh, this, this photograph uh, and I probably always will be uh, until somebody else comes up with something better than this. <laughs> the Bears have won! The Bears have won! Oh my God! The most amazing, sensational, dramatic, heart-rending, exciting, thrilling finish in the history of college football.